Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Kevin with survivalistboards.com. Today we're working on plugging this hole right here on the fence. And what will happen is sometimes the chickens will jump up on here and then jump out. As you see, the bottom of it's all screened in and the chickens cannot get through, grown chicken can't get through those bottom, bottom slots. What they can do is jump up here then jump I've out. got this old section of cattle panel here. Now I've measured it out something like 13 inches with a two inch overhang right here. You can see it's got the, about a, I measured it, that's a two inch overhang right there. Two inch overhang right there. And 13 inch, I needs to be 13 inches from here to here. So I've got this extra panel, a section of galvanized cattle panel and I've Measured off with a magic marker two inches two inches two inches and then I've got the 13 inches from here to here This is rather difficult to cut with Wire cutters you have to use bolt cutters to cut it got a pair of bolt cutters in my truck come in here and just snip it Put it up there and use my inner shield welding machine uh, Flux core machine to tack it on my wife and I put the one of our new leghorn roosters in there with the other flock and they're doing the pecking order they're kind of picking on him a little bit he's how old is he four months old four or five four and a half i think okay. four and a half months old so he's only a couple of weeks from crowing his hormones are starting to kick in we had two roosters over in the other chicken yard this is the big chicken yard that that we built the smaller one we built last year whenever we moved to the farm this rooster and the other one was in there and they were starting to fight so it was um, moved one of the roosters over here, had more room, left the other rooster over there. And now the hens are kind of picking on him, but that's just the way chickens are. He's just going to have to deal with it. So here's the welding setup. I posted a video several, several years about this, probably about four years ago. And the um, using a Tecumseh motor on a Coleman PowerMate 7200 for the power supply. And several years, whenever I posted my original video, I had just a real cheap Sears MIG machine as well as flux core. Flux core. So there's a difference between MIG and flux core. And it only had like high and low and wire speed. I bought this from Lowe's a few years ago. And it's got wire speed, voltage heat, uh, Lincoln Electric Procore 125. And it's a 110 volt. And it does what everything that I need. It does everything that I need. And so somehow or another my cup came up missing. I loaned it out. And I don't know if the person, I don't remember if the person that I loaned it out to lost the cup. Or whether the dogs chewed the cup up whenever they chewed the ground wire up. I had the MIG machine inside the house in the living room. It started to rain one day and I just put it in the living room real quick. Get it out of the rain and went to check on my mail and stuff. Check on the internet. Whenever I come back the ground wire had been chewed up by the dogs. So I just used a C-clamp and it's fine. So I've got the wire, like I said. Cut with bolt cutters that y'all just saw. I got one C-clamp holding it in place. And we're going to start right here. Put a little tack there. Then clamp that down. And just kind of work our way around. See, they use the same type of cattle panel that I used for this gate. Because it's just matching up perfect. See, right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. Alright, so let's get the hood on. Pipe liner hood. Rubber band strap. And we're going to get to welding. So here we go. This gate is very thin tubing, very thin. So whenever you're welding on something that's thin between thin and thick, carry your heat on the thick part, then just kind of wash it over to the thin part. And what happened, 
if you've got your machine turned up too hot, I blew a hole in that tubing on this first weld. Then you just kind of zip, let it cool, 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 till you finally get the whole uh, field in. Turn my machine down to the lowest voltage setting and almost to the lowest wire speed. One, yeah, I think it'll go a little bit lower. And then you just come in and do like that, just weld it across. So this, this one here was already on there from the factory. I put a little bit more weld on it. Just there was a little pinhole right there. Fill that pinhole in and just weld it across, weld it across. And on these ends, just kind of zoop, wrapped it around it, wrapped it around it, wrapped it around it. And with this flux core and MIG, you always weld downhill, never weld uphill. It, uh, it just doesn't do. You can weld uphill, but it's real slow. You got to go zoop, let that cool, zoop, let that cool, zoop, let that cool, zoop, let that cool. So just right there see there just start my start didn't tie in real good like i said start over here on the heavy part wash it over and then start probably gonna take a grinder and a uh and buff these knock these sharp edges off of these tops but anyway there we go that's it i come through and came through and put a little half inch to one inch weld on every vertical tacked every horizontal and did a little downhill bead sip a little extra weld right there a little downhill bead on all of the verticals so there we go no more chickens jumping up on that i tack welded the latch there we go no more chickens jumping up on there all right guys and gals that's it now after this one now i've got that gate fixed up I've got to repair this gate over here. That gate there was given to me. It's uh, a couple of the welds are broke on it. It's a used gate. But we're going to be doing the same thing yet. Alright guys and gals, that's it for now. And I will talk to y'all later.